across the dreary morn. <laughs> when we're really my boy there came up to the farmer's door. He said, if thou I will if um, I come to seek employ for the now and so. Roughly about 20 years ago, I conceived this interest in local folk traditions and some chain of events led me to the Rockford Inn and I asked in there if anybody actually sang any of the songs of the area and I was immediately referred to this character, Dick French. So I came up to the farm and he was a little bit reticent at the time. He wasn't going to organise a sing-song just straight off, just for any old stranger. But eventually we got to know each other and um, we had a sing-song arranged for about three weeks' time, as I remember it. And he gathered a whole lot of uh, other local farmers in and it was quite an unforgettable experience. Forest above, Jim, forest above. The forest above and the curve below On a bright September's morn He's a soul of a clod that thanks not God That ever his body was born so hurry along the stags on first and the master's on his way. Hello, hello, we'll follow him through from round to barn our play. Hearts and the tufters challenging true. It's a note that the red deer knows. His courage he takes his cover he breaks. Then up for the morning call. When you're farming, you complain about how hot the weather is. I reckon as long as you can walk around the farm with your shoes on, you can't complain. But I prefer that weather, but it's just pouring down with rain. I can't stand that rain. It's been pouring down on me for 50 years, <coughs> and I don't want no more of that rain. I just can't stand the stuff. It's been pouring down on me for 50 years, that rain now. <laughs> Dick French is one of the biggest and most respected sheep farmers around Exmoor and um, he's renowned locally as a character but there's always the two sides to him because he's a very shrewd farmer he knows exactly what he's doing I've always respected him in that way but he's also a very great entertainer <laughs> two little boys had two little toys both had a wooden horse all my family back along all my parents back along were always good singers. They enjoyed singing, singing in a fair bit of dancing, but they used to enjoy a good sing song. And uh, I like to go around and join in and hear these songs from other singers that come up, folk singers, because we always brought up that way years ago to make your own entertainment. The one of cars you could drive around with from miles, and you used to have a good old sing song and get a lot of you together and really join in and get everybody joining in and it makes that a proper party. Climb up here and we'll be flying I can go just as fast with two When we grow up to be soldiers and our horses will be toys I started in a small way where I actually live in South Devon just going around the villages asking if anybody sang and I ended up in North Devon in 1975 and came here specifically so that I could find out what the songs were that people knew how they entertained themselves and get a lot of this stuff down on tape for documentation I've traveled the world and I've heard folks say Funny how time has passed away, but I know it come back someday to the village where I went to school. Now I've come back home, I'll find a wife. 
I've had my share of trouble and strife. Margaret and Palmer is Dick French's I cousin. Spend the rest of my life. My mother was born here, and um, they used to have sheep shearing parties. And we used to have dances in here, and this is where my mother and father met in this barn. One of these sheep shearing dances. It's a shear all day and dance all night. <laughs> when I was four, my father met, was coming home from Mullen Market, and he met with an accident, and he fell off his horse, and he was killed instantly. My grandfather and grandmother had retired at the time, and they came back to this farm to give us a home. And that's where I learnt a lot of the songs, because my grandfather used to sit by the fire and warm his cider, and I used to sit on his knee and he used to sing to us. <laughs> At the corner of the field, there's an old oak tree. It's been standing there before you and me. We carved our name for all to see. In the village where I went to school. We used to do a lot of singing at school when we were there and acting in plays. I never sang again then for years. I left Dexmoor and got married and then one day Sam Richard came knocking at the door and asked me if I knew any songs. It brought all my memories back again. And I told him the songs I knew, and he said, why not come to Rockford? So I went down to Rockford singing and really enjoyed it. I haven't been back to Canterbury School since I left it about 50 years ago. And it's lovely to come back again and remind me of all my childhood. school teacher all those years ago but of course she's retired now but the school is still there and it looks exactly the same hello <laughs> you're one of the brooks surely oh it's so lovely to see you after all this long time now which is it is it That's dorothy or margaret 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 yes you as remember lovely them. as ever <laughs> as lovely <laughs> as ever of course i do i remember every thing about my children what year was this, Margaret, we're going back to? Oh, it must be 50 years ago then. About 1938? Yes, right. Oh, how wonderful <laughs> to see. When the war was on. <laughs> 